It was standing room only in the Swords Atrium on March 23rd, as members of the Holy Cross community gathered to celebrate the official opening of the state-of-the-art $64 million integrated science complex. With the design and construction of the new science complex, Holy Cross completed the most ambitious building project in its history, on schedule and on budget. Alumni, parents, friends, and local foundations, many of whom were in attendance, gave more than $20 million to support the project. Throughout the afternoon, tours of the complex were given by students studying the sciences. The tour guides took them through the new Park B and Linda Smith Laboratories and a completely renovated Haberlin Hall. Reverend Michael McFarland, President of Holy Cross, and Timothy Austin, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the College, presided at the dedication and blessing ceremony. Every day, Dean Austin said, the complex buzzes with excitement. The new Haberlin is truly alive and science is at its heart. The new integrated science complex will allow Holy Cross to continue to offer an outstanding undergraduate science education, said Father McFarland. We have an outstanding tradition in teaching science and preparing young men and women to embark on careers in research and medicine. And this facility will allow us to build on that tradition by supporting outstanding teaching and research in the sciences and by helping to attract and retain the nation's finest science faculty and students. Among those in attendance for the celebration was Dr. Joseph Murray, class of 1940, who performed the first successful organ transplant in 1954, thus ushering in a new era of medicine. Murray's subsequent research advanced doctor's ability to prevent transplant rejection, and in 1990 he was honored for his pioneering medical work with the Nobel Prize. Dr. Murray enjoyed meeting with students throughout the day, including Adam Nadelson, a senior biology major in the health professions program. Adam, who will be studying at UMass Medical School in the fall, interviewed Dr. Murray following the dedication ceremony. And having had great success after studying at Holy Cross, how did Holy Cross prepare you to become a doctor and to become a person outside of? Well, Holy Cross gave me a very liberal education, um, a broad view of living, mm -hmm. and that's why I majored in Bachelor of Arts okay. rather than a Bachelor of Science. Mm -hmm. um, the courses I took in English, history, philosophy, Latin, and Greek have stayed with me for the past 60 or so odd years. And I still remember my English professor, my physics professor, and uh, we learned, I think, the value of living. Prior to the dedication, National Grid recognized the project's energy efficient design and construction. Designed by the architectural firm of Einhorn, Jaffe, and Prescott, the complex was constructed with the highest standards of energy efficiency and innovative, environmentally friendly elements. The college is also seeking LEED certification. National Grid executives presented an energy rebate check in the amount of $113,541 the Holy Cross's Michael Lockhead, Vice President of Administration and Finance, and Scott Merrill, Director of Physical Plant. For more information, please visit academics.holycross.edu slash celebrating science.